guys um, today is Saturday and um, I thought it would be a good time to just um, hit the mall and see what they have going on for Christmas gifts um, this year we are not going crazy we are um, mostly buying gifts for our nieces and nephews and yeah I'll take you around so you can kind of see what's going on um, in the mall and how things are during COVID. Now, as you can already tell, there's so many cars. Um, so I expect that the mall is gonna be filled with people. But, you know, just hoping everybody's taking the right precautions. mamas out there um, I am picking up some alcohol removed wine this is a great option since I can't drink alcohol during my pregnancy I also picked up my nieces some gingerbread kits the mall looks just absolutely stunning and festive and now I'm making my way back home it's nice and snowy out <music> So here's what I'm doing for some of my friends, um, for my friends to be exact. Um, I got these stockings for like $2.99 on Stop and Shop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill them with some baking goods. Um, and I even bought this little napkin here, disposable napkin. Um, and I'm going to give it to them so that they can enjoy it as a family, right? They can... Um, bake a cake together and um and just enjoy the treat together but um i thought this peppermint sugar decorating sprinkles was so adorable and it must taste good as well so peppermint is like one of the things that always reminds me of of christmas um there's also this green decorating icing um there's some chocolate that they can use to either decorate or they can melt it with the um, condensed milk. Um, a good Brazilian loves condensed milk. So condensed milk and um, some chocolate drops, they can melt it and make a nice filling of the cake. Um, I bought classic white cake. I didn't know exactly what kind of cake to buy, but I think the classic white will just overall... Um, be good for everybody. I didn't want to buy like a chocolate cake or a yellow cake because I'm not sure if they really like that. So I just bought a classic white. And then I also placed a packet of um, hot chocolate because a piece of cake goes really well with nice hot chocolate. So yeah, this is what I'm one of the things I'm doing this this Christmas for my friends. And you know, it all came to a very affordable gift and I'm going to put it all inside this stocking last year i thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day we have our ups and downs but when there's love there's always a way and oh this time of year we come an update on the belly so I'm about six months um, and I'm wearing um, these uh, maternity 
pants. Uh, they're quite loose on me still. Like I feel like they should, I should put um, some, <laughs> a belt on or something because they, they do fall. And if, if you can tell like right here, they're still baggy. This is a size two. So maybe I should have gone to a size down and just bought the size zero. Um, but again, I'm six months pregnant and it's still loose on me. So um, I definitely recommend the over the belly um, type of pants because then they will fit for the majority of time of your pregnancy. These will mostly like mostly fit at the end when your belly is quite stretchy. But yeah, um, this is what I'm wearing. Very comfortable and I'm ready to go. All right, guys, I'm in the car. I have my seatbelt on. Baby is protected. I'm curious to know what pregnant women out there do in terms of the seatbelt because I do feel like around the, the belly, sometimes it gets a little tight. Um, and as the belly grows more and more, it's gonna be <laughs> a little bit more difficult. But um, regardless, let me know in the description, in the comment box below, if you have any suggestions on how to make the seatbelt a little bit more comfortable um and yeah let's go to the doctor visit it, sh it i don't know if you've been to a doctor visit um or if you know somebody that has been to a doctor visit while pregnant but things are very strict right now because of covid um pablo unfortunately has not been able to go into any ultrasounds with me um and has had to sit outside and wait for me like outside of the office not even like nearby um it's like further down from the waiting room so that he has no contact with the pregnant women that are visiting um, just to decrease the contact with people, you know, not essential at the visit. So um, I'll just kind of show you a little bit of how it goes today. I'm seeing the nurse. Um, we are doing just regular checkups, you know, seeing my weight gain, um, my symptoms, um, probably hearing the baby's heart. Um, no ultrasound. I wish it was ultrasound week um, every month, but um, I, you know they can't do that every month. So we will not be seeing the baby, but we will be probably hearing her heart. All right, let's go. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. They took my blood pressure and then I was ready to go. Um, this was a great visit, baby's doing well, and they gave me the Gluco drink so that I can prepare myself for the next visit. All right guys, I got a lot of stuff done this week, but before we go, I just wanted to show you these two packages that arrived for the baby. One is the Key Fit 30 uh, rear facing infant car seat. Um, I've seen so many good reviews about this car seat. It's safe, it's easy to um, install. Um, it also gives you the option to remove some of these parts, throw it in the washer and um, make sure it's clean. You know, babies, so many things happen with babies. Um, so 
you know, I just want to make sure that she's always in a place that is clean um, and safe for her. But this also, I forgot to mention, but this also has an option for a caddy. And I will show you right here. There's a caddy. Um, if in case you don't have a stroller or you want to have um, easier way to transport your baby you can buy the caddy and just remove the car seat from the car and place it right on top of the caddy so i thought that was easy it's supposed to be very light i don't i don't personally have it but it might be a good option so i'll think about it the other thing we bought is the Graco travel dome um, this pack and play is really well known across the world i i have a lot of friends that already had this and they all told me buy it because it's going to last you a long time it comes with this um, part of it where you can just put the baby there and transport it around the house. Um, you can bring the baby to the living room. You can bring the baby to the kitchen, whatever you want. Um, so that's nice. It, it's easily detachable. Um, it comes with the changing table. It comes with the bassinet in the, in the mid-session section. Um, if you remove everything, it just turns into a pack and plate. So um, this is going to last us a long time um, if we travel, if we go to a family member's house, if we, we just want a, a place for her to stay in the living room, whatever it is, this is going to be of great use. Um, I bought the Graco um, Travel Dome at Walmart and the Chico thing at Bath Body and Beyond, I think. I'm not sure. It was one of those two, but I'll leave I'll leave the information down below in case you want to check it out. Um, again, thank you for watching this video. I want you to know that your support means a lot to me. So every time I see a comment down below or you know a like button, it means a lot to me. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to share this amazing journey with you. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Until next one, bye.